Auntie Linda, I didn't know you had this book. It's a great idea. When it comes to traditional Malaysian cooking, my Auntie Linda's an expert. And special occasion cakes are her specialty. Who orders from you? Oh, not shops. I've got some friends. Oh, right. Malaysian friends. Yeah, yeah. They enjoy something on the local Malaysian quiz, but they can't get it here. Sometimes they don't know how to make them. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> As often as possible, she loves getting together with her friends, affectionately referred to as the girls, to show off their cooking skills. You have to be able to cook, share your recipes, and enjoy eating. If you can't cook, you can't bake, no, you're not in the And you enjoy eating. See you later. Yes, exactly. Yeah. This is called pepinka, which I copied from my Filipino friend. This is tapioca cake, made from uh, grated tapioca coconut milk and sugar. That's yum. That's very good. Thank you. <laughs> mm. This is a beehive cake. Oh, okay. What makes it that golden color? Oh, you cook your sugar in caramelize it. Caramelize it. And the beautiful little like patterns oh. from the air bubbles. That's why it's called a beehive cake. Auntie Linda is a Nyonya or Chinese Malay woman from Malacca in Malaysia, where for centuries, Chinese, Indian, Arab and Asian traders converged to buy and sell exotic spices. And the dishes Auntie Linda loves to cook are traditional, fragrantly spiced Nyonya recipes. You planted a banana tree just so um, you could use the leaves, not yes, for the fruit. Not for the fruit as well. <laughs> so you can make your kueh. Yes. Nyonya kueh, we use a lot of banana leaves. Yeah. So I thought I'd rather plant it myself. And the blue, is that from blue pea flower? Yes. We love it really bright, isn't it? Because yeah, it's all about yes. celebration yes. and vibrancy and yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. colour is actually very important. That's the jam is as good as it looks. <laughs> it's beautiful. <Yes. laughs> oh, Tee Linda, how beautiful is that? Oh, it's more for birthdays, baby's full moon. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And so the outside is made out of glutinous rice, rice flour. flour. Yep. Yeah. And, and then the, the inside we use mung beans. Mmm. That's quail lapis, traditionally done in nine layers and in three colors. It's arranged so that you can pick up the colors nicely. This is called bobo cha cha. It's made of coconut milk, bananas, sweet potato, and sago. Very unusual you have banana in it. Yeah, it's sort of like mixed between Burmese and Malay. So we can say it's Malaysian, yes. <laughs> I love the fact that women get together to support and help each other and keep traditions alive. And if my Auntie Linda and the girls are any indication, traditional Malay recipes are alive and well in this little corner of suburban Adelaide. She is a good cook, so she can join our group. Can we, ladies? Yes. <laughs> so here's my cake. 